Good morning everybody, it is day two of Berlin. We have just had a lovely sleep and we are going to make a move as quickly as we can and go and see some of the best museums that Berlin has to offer. Um, we're going to a place called Museum Island and it is literally like an island in the center of Berlin that just has tons and tons of museums on it. We're also gonna head up to a viewing point as well at some point today and um, hopefully grab some really, really good food so we can show you guys where the best types of food is and uh, how much it costs. I'm not sure what the rest of the plan is. I'm not sure how much time we'll have. We'll obviously keep you guys updated on the way, but it's gonna be a really good trip and I'm really, really excited. Beth, you excited? Yeah. As you can see, here she is through our bunk bed. Through our bunk <laughs> bed. <laughs> <laughs> Wild, Tarzan-esque. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out now. It's gonna be really, really fun and we'll see you guys shortly. <laughs> So we are just outside of the Neuss Museum and the Pergamon Museum, which are really, really popular museums in Berlin. This property is absolutely beautiful. You can see behind me. That's just one of the buildings, but I'll show you around now. Um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing here. We are gonna go into a few of the museums and have a look around. Um, we're not quite sure how much I'll be able to film. Obviously, this has got a massive microphone on top. People get super funny about it whenever I walk in places. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna go into museums. Um, I may have to shoot just a little bit on my phone, but hopefully I'll be able to show you guys some stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in there shortly. I let you in. So we have just finished up at the Neuss Museum, um, N-E-U-S Museum. Don't quite know how to pronounce it. Dude, it was amazing. There was like Egyptian stuff there. We saw like real life walls from like the pyramids and stuff like that. It was absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like that before. Never seen anything that old. And the detail, the attention to detail in it is absolutely remarkable. It truly blew me away in every way. I'm, I'm very, very, very happy we went. Um, we're literally just gonna head across the, <laughs> it's like 15 yards away. We're going to the National Gallery. Um, it's one of Beth's favorites, obviously. Um, She's a big fan of art in all types, so we're gonna head there. And um, Beth's got us stuck on the other side. Yeah, we're gonna head to the National Gallery now, and hopefully that'll be awesome. And then we're gonna go across to the Permagon Museum, and then from there we're going to the Tower, and then from the Tower we're gonna go home and get some food. So it's gonna be really, really good. I'm excited. See you guys in a bit. So we've just finished up in the Pergamon Museum. That was amazing as well. I really cannot understate how amazing these museums are. Um, I did not expect to see history that was that old or history that was that impressive or stunning or anything like that. And we feel incredibly privileged that we've got that opportunity and that we have seen it. So we are in a very, very good mood. Um, as you can see, look, everywhere you walk is just beautiful. Look at where I'm walking through, man. Seriously, look at this insanity. Um, so exciting. But Beth is currently on the directions. i uh, put her in front of me. We are attempting to get to this massive tower. 
At the top of that tower, there is a viewing platform, so we're hopefully going to see what Berlin looks like at night. And that's about it, really. The museums are a 100% recommendation from me. Definitely do it. It cost us nine euros to get in all three, um, and that sorted us out for the day. And that also sorts you out for every single museum that's on the uh, museum island. So I think you can get into a few more as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't hold me to it, but I think you can. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about the museums and what I would do and everything like that at the end of today's video. And that way I can give you a bit more detail about it all. So yeah, amazing. We're going to the TV Tower. See you guys in a bit. Pretty, sorry, I saw something pretty. Oh, that is pretty. See, good with the shouts, Bethany Anna Holmes. Absolutely incredible. We're going there now. Bye, guys. We have just arrived. Oh, it's bloody high. It's bloody high. Oh, um, for those of you that don't know, um, I don't like heights. Pretty sure Beth doesn't like heights either. Oh, most definitely. And I don't know how to get in entrance. Oh, we have to go up this, I think, Beth, somehow. But yeah, we're going to go up there and we'll show you guys when we get to the top. I may or may not be absolutely shitting myself. Um, don't like heights whatsoever, but apparently it's amazing, so let's go see a nice view. <laughs> We have just finished at the Berlin TV Tower and it was really, really nice. It was really good. The observation deck is, is great. There's a lovely little bar up there. Uh, we got it for, I believe it was 13 pounds each, but that was also on a student deal. So I'm not quite sure that like the 20 pounds they're trying to ask you to spend there is worth it, but I'll let you guys decide. Obviously you can see some of the, um, some of the footage that I've uh, shot and some of the views that you get, obviously in person, it is much better, it is much nicer. So, you know, always, the camera never ever does it justice. But yeah, there's a nice restaurant up there and everything like that, so I still do recommend it if you've got the money to spare. We are now gonna try and go and find some dinner. Um, there is one thing that we've done actually in every single city that we've been in, me and Beth, and we are trying to keep it up a little bit. We have grabbed a burrito in every single city <laughs> we love that we've been to. Everyone we've been to. Wrong. It's filling, delicious. So, there is a burrito place in Berlin that has good review, really good reviews, and we are very, very tempted by it. We're gonna, we're gonna head there and we'll see you guys shortly. We have opted for the burrito. No shock there. We like burritos. Beth has chosen a vegetarian one. They've got so many vegan ones here as well. Do you choose a vegan one? It's called Vegan Lover. I'm not really sure what it's going to consist of, but I'm excited. And I got my standard beef um, burrito that I've got in numerous places, and it looks delicious, and I cannot wait to tuck in. So we'll leave you there. We've got our ticket here, and we're waiting for our burrito. <laughs> We have just finished up our burrito. It was really, really good. I absolutely adored it. I think Beth really enjoyed hers as well. Beth, thoughts? Oh yeah, delicious. She loved it, I loved it. We're literally grabbing an Uber back because it was the same price, because we walked everywhere today, we didn't take a train. It was the same price for two single trains as it was for an Uber, and we thought, you know what, let's splash out and live a little. So <laughs> we're grabbing an Uber back, which is also nice because it's raining um, and the weather's a bit cold. But um, yeah, we're gonna do that now, and I'll give you a review of the day and how it all went and what we did and everything like that when we get back to the hotel. So we will see you guys in just a second. So, quick review of day two. It was amazing, we really enjoyed it. Um, we've just got back to the hotel. Uh, it was a long day, it was very, very busy. It could have been longer, to be completely honest with you. We only spent sort of an hour to two hours, I think, in each museum, right, Beth? And um, you could spend so much longer actually going through and taking an audio guide and, and going through each and everything that they've got there, every exhibition they've got, every sort of thing they've got. It was really, really special. The attention to detail in a lot of the stuff we saw, just from, you know, thousands of years ago is absolutely remarkable and it blew me away. 
I was so, so, so impressed. I did not expect that whatsoever. That's the cool part, I suppose, about not knowing exactly what there is. So we just looked at the museums and looked at the reviews and stuff. They were really good. We didn't actually look at the content of what people were saying. And so I went in there with zero clue of what to expect in terms of what the historical artifacts were gonna be, but they absolutely, they, they definitely shocked me. I didn't expect that. So it was so much better than I expected. So yeah, I do recommend it. We went to the National Gallery, the Pergamon Museum, and the Noyce Museum, and they were all outstanding, and I couldn't recommend them enough to everybody. So yeah, really, really good. We finished the day by going to the Berlin TV Tower Observation Deck, had a little drink there, it was really nice. Um, also, we went to a cafe in the morning, we didn't really show you guys that. I'll put a little video now on screen. As you can see, we just got a few little snack bits. Um, it was quite expensive because it was in one of the museums, but we walked for 45 minutes and did not see a single calf on our walk to museums. So maybe a suggestion if you are in Berlin, staying where we're staying, which is Eastside Gallery, um, to get some breakfast at your hotel or something like that, because you can end up walking for a fair amount of time. Yeah, we did all the museums and we finished in Berlin TV Tower, and uh, that was also amazing. We had a lovely drink at the top, uh, really, really nice views. Probably slightly on the upper scale of price, I would say, personally. But you know, it's up to everybody what they want to constitute as being expensive and what they think is good value And I'm sure it probably is good value for most but I just think comparatively to some of the ones I've done in America um, I personally preferred them, but that's just you know, that's just individual preference So it was still amazing and I still would recommend it. It's been a really nice day We finished up at Dolores, which is a burrito place and um, carrying on our theme me and Beth of getting burritos in different places that we've gone to um, So that marks pretty much everywhere we've been to now. We've got a burrito and it was amazing Cracking choices for vegetarians Unbelievable and vegans as well might add an unbelievable selection There was like seven different burritos you could get on there that were vegan or vegetarian, which is outstanding compared to kind of the three options you could get that were <laughs> that were beef pork or chicken so really really good really enjoyed it definite four out of five stars for me and uh it was 15 euros for the both of us so again not too too pricey for a burrito compared to like the price of england but seems pretty standard price really it's been a long day i'm gonna finish this off by you know going leaving now um we're going to have to check out the hotel tomorrow. It's going to be a mental day tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be so much going on. We've got to visit basically all the points of Berlin that are the most famous. And um, we've only kind of got, you know, from like 10 till 6 p.m. to do it. So it's going to be a wild one. And unlike today where we've got the time to come back to the hotel and I've got the time to edit the videos a little bit, with this one we're going straight to get the flight from uh, the 6 p.m. last thing that we do. So... It's definitely, definitely going to be busy and we're going to need some really good sleep for it. So yeah, going to finish it there. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you are enjoying it, please, again, as I've said before, let me know. I'm not exaggerating when I say I want to hear your feedback and I want honest feedback. If this is something that you do not enjoy as much as me putting all the video, all the days into one video, then please let me know because I can save my time doing this or I can, you know, do the videos a separate way. Whatever way you guys think is best is what I want to know about. I want to make footage that is compelling for everybody to see. Um... So yeah, please do give some feedback on this, be it if you just want to drop me a message or comment or anything like that. I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to hear it and I, I'm just grateful that you guys are even watching. So thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow for even more shenanigans. Night night guys.